an Athenian general named Themistocles. Themistocles had fought on the battlefield at Marathon. He was typical of a new generation of Athenian leaders, a man who had risen to power through democracy. Themistocles is a fascinating character, very much an example of the effect of democracy uh, in Athens. It's relatively clear that he doesn't come from the inner circle of the landed aristocracy that traditionally had ruled in Athens. There were stories told about his feeling rather touchy about the fact that he hadn't had a traditional aristocratic upbringing, for example, in music and uh, poetry. In fact, that might have given him a spur to, to show that he could do as well as someone who had gone to all the right schools, as it were. Themistocles' so opinion of his common origins was blunt and straightforward. I may not know how to play the lyre or flute, but I do know how to make a city great. Themistocles had learned the skills of leadership here, the Democratic Assembly of Athens. From this very podium, Themistocles would now show himself to be one of history's greatest leaders, the savior of his city. For Themistocles alone recognized that the Persians might still be a danger, and that next time, victory for the Athenians might not prove so easy. Themistocles realized that the Persians, if they came again, it would be in a way that made sure that they weren't going to be defeated by land again. There was no way that the Athenians could rely on traditional hoplite fighting technique. Themistocles began to form a bold new strategy, employing the most advanced weapon of the day, the trireme. Triremes were the state of the art in ancient shipbuilding. Stacking 170 oarsmen on three levels, their combination of lightweight and raw power gave them astonishing speed and maneuverability. In contemporary terms, a trireme is a missile. The object of a trireme is to ram the enemy's ship. It is a very narrow, very light, very sleek, and very fast weapon. But these triremes were also exceedingly expensive. And Themistocles' vision of a vast Athenian navy might never have come to pass if it had not been for one stroke of luck. <laughs> 